this video we are going to study about watershed monitoring and evaluation so in watershed management or watershed development program so we make the treatment on drainage line like check dam check weir gully plug and on land surface we perform a different treatment like cct work contour burn farm burn in watershed area requires 3 to 5 years so why monitoring and evaluation work carried out so there are mainly two reasons number one it is carried out to ensure effect and impact to and others and number two it is useful for updating or developing activities so when monitoring and evaluation work carried out so it is to be carried out at various stages like planning stage implementation stage and completion stage so in watershed area monitoring and evaluation is uh, necessary at the planning stage when we are preparing a project planning and after once we prepare a project plan thereafter is implementation work in implementation we actually perform a different treatments in watershed area like gully plugs check weir check dam on drainage line work and on land surface we perform cct work farm burn contour burn and other land surface treatments and after completion we have to perform a monitoring and evolution to check whether there is increase in the water level in the inside the land surface whether there is a increase in crop productivity whether there is increase in for forest cover patch now what is indicated by evolution and monitoring so evolution and monitoring are the indicators of number 1 project performance number 2 output number 3 benefit and number 4 impact so what evolution and monitoring suggest it's uh, suggest us uh, how project is performing it is where on track or I mean whether whether it is going uh, very good or very bad or whatever may be that can be understood by evolution and monitoring. Then uh, second uh, indicator is output. So what is the output? So what the objective we have said and what the actual output we get. Is. Suppose we have said the objective like uh, increase in uh, water level. increase in crop productivity then uh, actually we check the output whether the ground water level has been increased or not whether the crop production increase or not whether the pasture uh, has been developed or not then the number 3 indicator that suggest is a benefit so what is the actual benefit actual benefit is the whether the drinking water problem of the people uh, get solved or not then in terms of benefit whether there is the increase in the pasture increase in the livestock and that are the benefits to the people so whether act so what is the impact of watershed work so the impact may be in terms of increase the water level increase the crop crop productivity then how evolution and monitoring system works means the assessment of the project assessment of the project with respect to performance and impact on agriculture and allied activities so what do we do mean by evolution means we assess the project on different parameters it also indicate the efficacy of the project 
So what is meant by the efficacy? Whether the it is giving the good performance as per the set objective. And what is monitoring? The monitoring is internal activity of the project which consists of diagnostic studies. So monitoring checks whether we are working on uh, as per our objective or we are have some deviation in our work. So that can be understood by monitoring. And this will help in decision making process. So monitoring is integral part of day to day management and monitoring should be carried out at regular interval in specific manner. So this now which points should be considered while monitoring the watershed program. So there are four points that should be considered. So number one is specific objective of the monitoring system. So what is the objective of our watershed program? That point is need to be considered while monitoring the watershed. The second is program to monitor the achievement. So what we want to achieve. Then number three is selection of indicators for monitoring. So indicators like maybe increase in uh, pasture, increase in water level like that. And number four points to be considered is train people to convey the use information. Now what is the need for watershed monitoring or what is the need for monitoring the watershed project. So number one to record the progress through target and goals for project implementation. Number two, to collect and analyze the data. Number three, to identify the problem. And number four, to prepare the report. So if we perform any project, we, we need to have something a record of that project. And one way is by monitoring, we can record the progress. And second need is to collect and analyze the data. So after we analyze the data, we can find our performance. So that is the need. And number three is to identify problems. So suppose we are performing any operation or any treatment in the watershed area, then if there is any problem that can be understood through the monitoring work. And number four is to prepare the report for long term use, we need to perform a monitoring operation. Now, how the watershed evaluation process completed? So the evaluation process is divided in four types. Number one, progress of development, number two, cost of development, number three, quality evaluation, number four, impact evaluation. Now, let's look one by one. Now, number one, progress of development. So, how we understood progress of development by means of progress report. So, progress report include the work completed in the watershed. So we make a report on the watershed work like this and from that report we will understood how many number of structures are constructed, how much area cover under the various activities like check wear, check dam, CCT or anything and progress report. Then in evaluation second type is cost of development. So in this type the development includes actual cost and expected cost of each measure. So while performing a development activity it have to bear some cost and sometimes the actual cost and expected cost. So there may be variation in the cost. So 
we have to understood a cost of development and also to work out a saving so that it may be used for further development it is necessary to understand cost of development in evaluation process then number 3 type in evaluation is quality evaluation so in evaluation after we build some structure or we water conservation structures are to be evaluated qualitatively for assessing a serviceable life of the structure so why to perform the evaluation so serviceable life of the structure can be understood so what is the life of the structure can be understood after evaluation of the structure so what is the life it may be 5 year it may be 10 year it may be 15 years so that can be understood only after by evaluation process and also a long term annual repair and maintenance cost so what will be the future cost for the repair and maintenance can be understood through quality evaluation and also in future if you want to some make improvement in the work that can be understood through this quality evaluation now number 4 type in evaluation is impact evaluation so how the effectiveness and impact of soil and water conservation measure is evaluated on the basis of increase in ground water table we can look in the image if the ground water level is has been increased and that may be we correlate that the increase in ground water level is the result of our development activity then second is whether the crop productivity has been increased or not so what is the crop productivity so what is the yield of the different crops that is grown in watershed area and whether it has been increased so if it is increased we can say we have positive impact and if the crop productivity has been decreased we can say our work has not a positive impact then number 3 is impact evolution is pasture development so in pasture development we look so as you can look in this image so this is the pasture so whether there is increase in the pasture so if the pasture area is increase we can say our work have effectively given the result then in impact evaluation the next uh, criteria is increase in irrigation potential for water harvested water so if we observe there is a increase in irrigation potential we can observe there is a increase in water quantity in watershed area so which can be used for the agriculture for drinking purposes now we have seen how to perform evaluation work how to perform monitoring work now question is what is the basic or what is the difference between monitoring and evaluation now let's look monitoring is a continuous that means it uh, starts and ends with the program so suppose watershed development program is for 5 years then we have to perform monitoring activity for 5 years while evaluation is carried out generally at the end of the program or midway of the program so once the project is completed then the evaluation process starts or it may be in midway suppose the 5 year uh, project is there then we can perform uh, evaluation after 2.5 years and after completion of 5 years so this is the first difference between monitoring and evaluation then second difference monitoring is required for immediate use so that the program can be corrected 
and while evaluation can be used for future planning so evaluation have impact on future planning while the monitoring have impact on immediate use then number 3 the monitoring is generally carried out by implementing authorities that means the persons who are uh, conducting the development activity are responsible for monitoring work also while for evaluation generally outside agency or persons carry out evaluation so for that for third parties peoples comes and they evaluate the watershed development work then next monitoring cover all unit while in evaluation a sample is studied so in evaluation uh, uh, some sample or some selected area of watershed is studied while in monitoring we have to monitor all the watershed area then next monitoring helps in correction as well as managing the progress or program while it is in operation while evaluation help in learning the drawbacks and shortcomings the next monitoring gives early warning about their implementation while evaluation process gives diagnostic account of the watershed development program so this is the end of the topic now important questions on this topic now question number 1 why monitoring and evaluation work carried out so why monitoring and evaluation work carried out is for to check the whether the effects and impacts are there and number 2 is to update the for future activity then question number 2 is uh, when monitoring and evaluation work carried out so monitoring and evaluation work is carried out at different stages like planning implementation and then question number 3 what is indicated by evaluation and monitoring so monitoring and evaluation indicates the performance of the project impact of the project so there are four indicators in question number 4 which points should be considered while monitoring the watershed program so which points to be considered so number one is the objective so we have to check whether the watershed work is conducted according to objective or not so like there are some four points then question number 5 what is the need for monitoring of watershed project so what is the need first of all we want a project report so then number 2 to check the whether we are working properly and some for a future planning we have to get some data then question number 6 how the watershed evolution process completed so evolution process completed in four types so number 1 is so number 1 is progress of development number 2 is cost of development number 3 quality evaluation number 4 impact evaluation and uh, last question is write the difference between monitoring and evaluation so monitoring is continuous activity while evaluation is done at the midway or end of the project so monitoring is for immediate use while the evaluation is for future planning monitoring is conducted by the implementing authorities while the evaluation is conducted by third party or third agency monitoring gives uh, immediate correction or any may work there while evaluation gives for the future correction work so this is the end of the video thank you very much for watching this video please like share and subscribe the channel thank you very much